The Fetterman has been gearing up for this uh, for some time. He already raised more than a million dollars in this Senate bid, and it is an opportunity potentially for Democrats to flip a seat currently held by Republican Pat Toomey, who is not running for re-election in 2022. A Fetterman, who is a Democrat, has been pushing for progressive policies during his time as Pennsylvania Lieutenant Governor. Uh, when he was freshly elected in that position, he visited every county in the state on a listening tour about legalizing recreational marijuana, which is one of the policies that he supports. He's also been pushing for criminal justice reform and also raising the minimum wage. He spoke to our sister station exclusively in Pittsburgh, WTAE, about how his experience so far in Harrisburg will shape his campaign. From a leadership perspective, you know, having the, the second highest office in, in Pennsylvania, having the perspective of all 67 counties and trying to remind people that we are really one state, we're one Pennsylvania, and it's not urban versus rural. It's not red counties versus blue counties. It's like there's actually a lot of things that we share and have in common. And I think that perspective is, is invaluable. Before becoming Lieutenant Governor, uh, Fetterman served as the mayor of Braddock, a small town in Western PA, but he grew up as a kid in York, and he is the first of what we are expecting to be many candidates, both Republican and Democrat, who will be joining this race before too long.